If I should die tomorrow, I hope you won't be sad. You see, I've had a good life with all the memories that weren't all bad. My daddy was a preacher, and my mother was ever ready at his right hand. I've traveled as a young boy to meetings and church services and revivals all across this land. Ah, yeah, I've had all my share of accidents and things that would not go my way. Like both arms broken at one hard fall, and earlier before that, my nose was broken too when I tried to climb an old rotten wall. Later, my foot, my fingers, my knuckles, and once again, my nose were all bent out of shape after a few more well-placed blows. But that's okay, you know, because I know it's true. Those are the things that young men and little boys do. I've had exciting times. I've had love. I've had car wrecks, I've had motorcycle wrecks too, I've been on the raging sea fighting for survival like most sailors do. I've had dates and dances, <laughs> I thought I was good, but later on in maturity my dancing, well, it just didn't look so good. I've flown a glider plane way up high, I've driven ships upon the sea, I've driven tricycles, bicycles, motorcycles, cars and trucks, and buses. I've flown in jets far above the clouds where I looked down on the storms below and from that height I knew those were the places that the storms weren't allowed to go. So I know what it's like to ride high with God. Way up over those clouds of storms and doubt. But I did hurt inside to my very core when my older brother was killed that day. I watched my mother and dad Really, my sister even slowly fizzled away. My heart longs to see them all, and I long to see my grandparents, aunts and uncles, and my cousins too. I know one day I'll be reunited with many friends that I love, like you. But I've loved, I've married, I've had wonderful children, and those awesome grandchildren too. I've watched them grow with pride. I guess that's like all papas do. My loving wife has stayed by my side. Uh, one other would have surely left. I wish I could have done better for her and you all, but I, I came up short, it seems. I wish I'd done better myself. Truth is, I've been in car wrecks, and I've, I've been very close to airplane wrecks, too. I've been shipwrecked at sea. I've been beaten up. I've been stabbed. I've been threatened with guns. I've even been called ugly names, if you can believe this. So why I made it this long? Well, that's yet to be seen. I do know that I've come to treasure Jesus and what he's done for me. And I realized that all along, it was he that kept me secure. And it was never me. I've been far from perfect in this life. And I know to most of you it's plain to see, but I'm holding on to the master's hand so nothing really terrifies me. So if I should die tomorrow, well, I kinda hope you're a little sad, but never doubt for a minute that I live my life fully and I would not trade a moment of being a husband, a grandfather, and a dad. It's appointed a man wants to die and I guess it must have been my time to go, but death is not the end of me. I'll just simply cross that line. I want to die with dignity. I hope that's the case. But I really do believe the words I sing, it's called Amazing Grace. So all my friends and family, in-laws and outlaws too, hang on and don't give up. Keep trusting and one day you'll see the great reunion place we have for all eternity. I'll be watching. I'll be waiting at heaven's gate, looking for each of you.